name the back of the footy. Uh, first time in, I think, two years. Uh, we're nice and close here at Combank. Who have you got for the first try? Gutho. Gutho. And Whee! how many points do you think the Eels are win by? Seven. Oh, tight game. Well, it is round number four, it is vlog number four, and we are taking on the Tigers. It is Easter Monday, and it's been an annual tradition over the last couple of years. 2022, a heartbreaking loss here, a win over their way at a core last year. And I think we get the win here by six points, similar to last year, 22 to 16. Will Penasini and Jermaine Hopwood score. I think uh, Fatape might score a try at any time before the Tigers for Parramatta to start the season three and one. Two penalties to the Tigers after two minutes, and they get downfield off the back of that penalty. Happy. Same up. The tackle here, his tackle. Good tackle here, Stefano. Good run for the Tigers. The space for the Tigers. Decent pass there, 
but brought down on second. Oh, Lane trying to crash over. Quick play the ball. Six more. Busty takes the tackle. Three tackles gone. Make that four because that was a waste of a play. Well read by the Tigers there. Fourth, shifting left. Drop by Paramana. This is, this is not a good half. Fourth tackle for the Tigers here. We'll make it at six again. Paramana with all the ball before. Nothing done. Six points to four in the Tigers with a great opportunity to add points to their tally. Here's John Bateman. Bateman. Oh, Papalini. Papalini. Oh, they tackled him. Just. Where's the ball? There it is with Galvin. Lachlan Galvin. There's chases. It goes and that time. Fifth tackle here. Seven minutes left in the first half. Will. Yeah, it's a changeover. Para-challenge is called, let's have a look. There's no stripping Jermaine. Yep, that's a knock on. Listen to the crowd after we win the challenge. What our attack is very predictable. Our attack is so predictable getting will every scrum team. 90 seconds left in the first half. We've had all the ball, we've had all the attack, but man, we don't have the lead. It's six points before. The Tigers are defending well. Their attack has been quite poor at the moment. But our attack has been even worse. Oh, here we go. Will Penasini. Will Penasini. 54 seconds left in the first half. Sebo or Joe brought down. I think it was Joe Oppengawi. We are terrible right now. Terrible. So we might find some points here. It's half time. Gutherson to make it 6 6 here. He gets the kick. So 6 all. Very poor first half. Tigers get a long break from their second All I'm looking for is second try. Galvin back to Caesar. Safer, Buller, tackle, right. Morgan Harper. Fifth tackle for the Tigers, they go right. Caesar, there is no one there. There is Sebo there though. Good God! Yeah! Yeah! Good one, John! Harris in front! Straight up for half time! Five minutes gone, ten points to six! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Good run there, Kelma. This is right in front of me. I'm four rows from the field here. This goes to the left. Hot good. Hot good. Off road. Joe Oppengawi against his former club. This is a big moment here. We can... Oh, he's in the field! The hip drop tackle of Oppengawi. Parramatta Jr. On home turf goes to the sin bin. Here's Gutho kicking for a 14 6 lead off that sin bin. Tigers trying to start a comeback here. Parramatta 14, Tigers 6. 13 minutes gone and down a man with Rockman Galvin for 6 minutes and 20 seconds. They go right. Oh, oh, who's got the ball? Charlie Staines. Parramatta might have this, but they're going to go back. This crowd has been eerily quiet today. Go, Jermaine. Oh, good dummy in front there. Hands. Reg, Campbell, get low. Campbell. Oh, down on fifth. Go, Will. Go, Will. Offload. Bounce. Dylan Brown still the last. The kick to the end goal. Kelly Staines. That was it. 
So Morgan Harper has just done the exact same thing in back-to-back -back play, and the Tigers will get their third scrum in the last five minutes. What is going on? Three tackles gone for the Tigers. They go left, Boris out, Galvin, big pass. And Junior Tupo is, that's a big pass, but it's a uh, knock on, I think, for Parramatta. So the Tigers have had five sets. Parramatta defending at the Boris out there. I feel like the Tigers just might score here. Which will put a game on our hands. Off by Bateman goes to Galvin. Safer, Caesar, Buller, Charlie Staines. There's nowhere to go for him. There's Parramatta defenders everywhere. Ellen put his second Full time 17 points to 16. That's a disgraceful performance. That is just, you know, look, Parramatta had moments where they played quite well, but there were not many of those moments, and Mitch was being missed a lot today. Uh, but some of the errors were really, really poor. Some of the predictability on set plays was terrible. The kicking, Blaze Talugi's kicking, actually surprised me. You know, high kicking, constant kicking. Not enough pressure put on the opposition, but decent kicks. But my God, Dylan's kicking game today was terrible. Running game, not so much. Very good running game from him. Will Panasini opening up the Tigers. You know, the Tigers were on the front foot early, and I thought they were going to go on to win the game quite well. But then it became that 14-6 scoreline, and I started to have a bit of faith in the boys. I knew our attack was really, really off throughout the game as well. So that kind of scared me. But never did I think that we were going to see a repeat of 2022 with the Tigers kicking a field goal to win the game. And then Gutherson 
going for a penalty goal, I think it was the right decision. I know some people will think the penalty should have led to going downfield, potentially scoring a try, but he gave us a chance to win that game. So that play on Gutherson, I actually agree with, but I'll be in Canberra next Sunday. It's a late game. It's annoying how late it is. And then we take on the Cowboys. So a bit of a tough draw, according to the ladder at least, coming up and the Tigers go back-to-back -back wins here uh, for the start to their season. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, this is a hard one to swallow. I'll talk more about it on the Talking Para podcast. And I uh, hope everyone has uh, had a great Easter. Happy April Fool's Day as well to you who fell for the Billy Slater prank. Uh, let me know what you thought of the game. Very frustrating. And I'll see you guys later.